stop. You don't need a greenhouse. And I keep hearing this over and over again. But Mike, I don't have a greenhouse. You have a greenhouse. That's why you can do all of this. That is not the case. I started all of this without a greenhouse. And in fact, I'm going to tell you guys one little secret right now that some of you may not know. I've talked about it in other videos in the past. And you're probably going to be blown away by this when I reveal it to you in three, two, one. This is not a greenhouse. It's a hoop house. It's a cold frame. That's all it is. This structure is simply a protective means for these rhododendrons during the winter. And really, it's only to protect the leaves and the buds so that they can be as beautiful as possible and get the best start possible when they're young early on before I get them established out in the landscape. Both ends of this thing are wide open all winter long. All summer long, I have the sides rolled up. Air blows through this. I've done many videos over the years where these rhododendrons inside freeze hard as a rock through the winter. I've shown video of the leaves just sucked up, curled up and sucked into the stems looking like they are on death's door and they come back every spring and bloom and grow beautifully because they're cold hardy to my region. And that's the most important thing when it comes to picking the plants that you're going to work with. Are they cold hardy to your region? Are they meant for your area? Can they grow in your area? You would not want to try and grow something like this in Phoenix, Arizona, but there are many beautiful plants you can grow in Phoenix, Arizona. Of course, you probably wouldn't even want to consider a greenhouse in Phoenix, Arizona. So no, you don't need a greenhouse, but you do need something when you're talking about softwood cuttings or even semi hardwood cuttings. And it's this, you need a plastic tote, which is essentially a greenhouse. So if I open this up, you can see there's no holes inside and it just holds moisture. I can put water in the bottom there. I can set plants on top of the water in their little rooting medium. And this thing effectively works to be a greenhouse. So you can have a greenhouse right at your house. There's some considerations though that you want to think about before you get started with something like this. And we're going to talk about that now. A greenhouse is essentially a structure in which you can control the heat and the humidity inside. You can control all the variables of the growing conditions for your plants. I can't do that in here. This is a hoop house. This is a cold frame. It's simply just a cover to protect these from excessive rain in the winter time when they're in pots and also to give them a little bit of buffer from the real hard fast frost early on in the fall when we typically don't get hard fast frost. When you start with warmer weather and all of a sudden it quickly changes, it can kill buds, it can damage leaves, it can do things like that on potted plants that it doesn't necessarily do to landscape plants that are well established. So all it does is give a little bit of added protection. Now, I started all of this way before I even began this hoop house structure. This structure is 14 years old, as old as my oldest daughter. And I've actually never replaced the plastic. They say it's rated at four years. It's lasted me 14 years, although I probably need to think about replacing it. I started getting into all these plants way before I built this hoop house structure. This structure is about 14 years old, but I was propagating plants and growing plants before I ever had this structure. And in the beginning, I started with one of those plastic toads, just like I showed you, because why? You can control some of the variables in it. It does function as a little greenhouse when you close the lid on it. There's some things to think about, like I said, and we're going to talk about that right now, but it does work as a greenhouse and it doesn't cost thousands of dollars. You can go to the store and buy one of those for $10, $15 and be in business real quick. The main variable that you're going to want to consider when it comes to growing little rooted cuttings in one of those toasts is this. You don't want it to heat up too much. And the same is true with the greenhouse. With a greenhouse, you need to create some kind of ventilation system in it in the summer because the sun typically beats down on that greenhouse. And in the summertime, those things can heat up a lot. And if you've got a lot of water in there because you're watering plants, the humidity is sky high. So unless you're growing only tropical plants, you really have to create some kind of a ventilation system for it so you can regulate all of those variables. The way we do that with the plastic tote is this. We just place it on the north side of a building. You want it to be in a spot where it gets lots of overhead skylight, but no direct sun. Now, what that means is this. If you live in the northern hemisphere, put it on the north side of a building. If you live in the southern hemisphere, put it on the south side of a building. It's just that simple. Lots of overhead skylight, 
no direct sun or you'll cook your cuttings and you will have a beautiful greenhouse that stays shaded but gets lots of light and will be just the perfect temperature for rooting all of your cuttings and you can root hundreds maybe even thousands of cuttings if they're softwood cuttings in a little tote that size i just showed you so there it is i'll say it again you do not need a greenhouse and i hope after showing you this video and talking about it you fully understand that and will not say to me again mike you have a greenhouse because i really don't and you really don't need one now i know i'm going to get a little comment down there that says mike you have a greenhouse but i fully expect that because i kind of set myself up for these things don't i now if you guys are really serious and interested about learning more on this subject then go check out my channel. Yeah, you thought I was gonna send you to the website, but I'm not. That's only if you're serious about rhododendrons. Now, that frame that I build on the website, it will root anything, softwood, semi-hardwood, hardwood cuttings, but that's for people who are real serious that wanna have a tried and true method that has been well-established and will root tougher to root cuttings of tougher root to root plants. You don't need all that if you're just getting started and you just wanna have fun with this and prove it to yourself. All you need to do is go get a little tote like that. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, we're headed into the spring. And, well, we're in spring. We're headed into the summer right now. And you guys have got just access to all the plants you could possibly want right now. Everything's starting to grow real well. And you can do cuttings all summer long and practice. The other thing I should add to this is occasionally I'll get comments saying, I tried and I did everything you said and it just did not work for me. And the only thing I can tell you is this. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Nobody gets good at this stuff overnight, but you might get lucky and root the first thing you ever stick. But once you finally get it, once you practice and practice and all of a sudden it clicks, you guys will be rooting everything with ease, trust me. So go check out the channel down below or up above or wherever it is and click on some of those videos and watch them. I've got tons of videos about plant propagation, hardwood cuttings, semi-hardwood cuttings, all kinds of different plants. And I talk about all the different aspects of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. And the coolest part about these videos, as a lot of you know, is I show the beginning and the ending over several months so you can see that it actually works. I don't do videos where I just say, this is how you do it. I stick the cutting and then tell you, come back in six weeks and it'll have roots. I come back in six weeks, show you the roots in the same video. So go check it out, have fun, enjoy yourselves. Guys, it's summer, almost officially summer. We got a little ways to go, but I know you're as excited as I am to have some warm weather, some plants blooming and headed into the beautiful time of year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see more awesome plant and gardening and propagation videos. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.